have the seals for me. Perhaps Athena was smiling down upon Athens when she sent you to me. You far surpassed my expectations. I always aim to do a good job. You have. <laughs> Beyond that, you've shown an understanding of war and its price. That's a lesson some never learn. This General Lysandros, you know him? What Spartan doesn't? If he's as good as he seems, then I'm even more grateful for your help. I respect his reputation, if not the man. War changes the rules for us all. So it does. Thank you, Eagle Bearer. I'm sure we meet again.
have the habit of appearing the moment I need you. What a power I may wield. Is there ever a time you don't need me? Good point. The drunk politician you had me take home. We ran into a bit of trouble. That's terrible. I'm glad to see you're okay. I'm fine, but nature can be cruel. We were attacked by animals, and he was mauled to death. I see. Well, plans change sometimes. You seem pretty accepting of this. What else can I do? We should both forget this ever happened. Pretend you never even saw the man. You said you needed something. Ah, to business already? Fine. It's simple, really. There's an item that holds great sentimental value I'd like you to retrieve. What do I need to find? It's an Olisvos. If you saw it on the ground, even you wouldn't bend over to pick it up. But it means so much to me. To hold it again would mean more than you know. I never took you for someone who cared for sentimental things. I'm so much more than my beautiful face and flowing blonde locks. Like what? Well, let's see. People forget I'm an orphan, that Pericles isn't my father. I know what it's like to lose family, too. Ah, <sighs> we have that in common. There's more to you than I thought, Miss Theos. Now, where were we? You're a big boy. Get it yourself. I sure am. But there's a small chance the woman who has it won't exactly be happy to see me again. There has to be a story behind this thing. When you see the Olisvos, you'll know. When you have it in your hands, against your skin, when you feel the weight of it, you'll know. Every time we talk, it seems like you're about to sleep with someone. Or want to. Or you've just finished. Is this woman the most recent one? Who said I slept with her? It was a safe guess. How do you find time for anything else? Determination, mostly. There's a closeness you can only feel with someone in those moments. Who wouldn't crave that? I'll get the olivos for you. There's a small chance the woman may wish to keep it for herself, uh, to spite me. It may be best to go unseen and hurry back. She lives east of here. Don't worry. You'll have it in your hands soon. It's made out of stone. I guess that could work. Ah, that's it in your hand. You brought it. Hmm, it's different than I remember it looking. And much bigger, too. She's going to miss it. This was never yours, was it? You had me steal it. We didn't just steal an Olisphos. We stole a family heirloom. And a husband's confidence. Without it, he'll be focused on his wife instead of his business. I think she'll enjoy the change of pace. So it is sentimental. Just not to you. The only thing that matters is you retrieved the Olisphos and helped me a great deal. And what about me? Now, now, we wash each other's backs, don't we? There's a reason you never turn me down, after all. How about I show you how this Olisphos can make all the difference? That's not what I meant. Guess I can't turn you down after all. I deserve that.
They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. A power I wield indeed. I told you last time I thought I could summon you when needed. And it has happened yet again. And for what this time? My friend here needs to be taken to the sanctuary of LFCs, near the border of Mecharis. He'll finish the trek across the border on his own. So, do you want to lie to me now or later? Whatever do you mean? Is this friend of yours actually a friend? I'm not going to find out they're a wanted criminal, or they don't actually want your help, am I? I'm hurt that you jump straight to accusations. A relationship must be built on trust, after all. You'd rather lie than trust me. Some things are better left unsaid, and many things are for your own protection. I can protect myself, you know that. Fine, I'll try to be more forthcoming in the future. Let's get to it. I'm just supposed to take your friend across the border. Yes. Nothing else? Carefully, if you can. Avoid roads, people. Be invisible. My friend must be kept safe. I'll make sure he's safe. I'd hoped you'd say that. Every time you ask me to do something secretly, someone dies. What is it this time? Not everyone was born with your beautiful muscles built for... Well, everything. Some of us work better by avoiding fights. This time, that's all I ask. There are lots of safe passages through these parts. Tell your friend to go alone. He could, but imagine if something happened and you saved him. Imagine the things I do to show my gratitude. And why do you always turn to me? You've proven yourself worthy. Plus, I like watching you walk away. We should be on our way. He needs to get to the Sanctuary of LFCs. It isn't far, although it may take you longer than usual. It won't be a problem. I'm glad we aren't going by sea. Antiviadis told me about you. He said you were blessed by the gods. better. I was starting to get sweaty under that hood. You're a, a woman? 
Nice of you to notice. Alcibiades said... Exactly what I told him to. It was safer that way. I owe Alcibiades a lot for his help. And for trusting you with my life as well. Enough lies. Tell me what's happening. I said I was a man, so nobody would recognize me. I needed to escape my husband unseen. And you trusted Alcibiades? No one escapes my husband. He'd find me. It's been tough. I'm not sure I would have lasted much longer. So let me guess. Alcibiades owed you a favor. Or now has some scheme where you owe him. I'm not sure what you mean. He didn't ask anything of me. And I've never known him to do so. I know many people he's helped at the expense of nobody but himself. I'm glad I could help. Please give Alcibiades my thanks. I only wish I had more to offer him. And you, for the help. I'll never forget either of you. I should watch my step around here. We've got no <laughs> use for you here. Get moved! <laughs> The sun and moon combined could not grant the beauty that my bride-to-be was gifted. If the gods blessed me, they did so with one eye closed. But their eyes were wide open for her. I'm impressed. If I only heard the words, I'd swear you were a poet. My words are nowhere near what she deserves. So, you're in love. Yes, the wedding nears, and there is so much to be done. If you need help, I'm here for you. Accepting before knowing what I ask of you? That's a rare surprise. I do still need a few things. Food for an offering, a ring, and some flowers. If you could bring them to my bride, Iris, she'll make use of them. I've known you for a while now, but you've never mentioned Iris. There's plenty I haven't mentioned. I'm sure you could say the same to me. So what is it about Iris that turns you into, uh, well, what I saw? You're not jealous, are you? Don't worry. She's very open. I suppose that's one of my favorite things about her. The openness. So, flowers, a ring, and food. Where can I find Iris? She should be at the Altar of Love. Aptly named, don't you think? Oh, and uh, don't be too taken by her beauty. These flowers should be good enough for the wedding. I think this will be a nice enough offering.
Here it is. is up to Alcibiade standards. Let me guess. Alkiviadis sent you. He did? How did you know? He has a skill for making others do things he doesn't want to. On top of that, he prefers if those people are attractive. He's so predictable. It's what made this whole thing so easy. It almost sounds like you're using him. What has been easy? Making him fall in love with me, of course. Please, Alkiviadis is not the man you marry for love. Then why are you marrying him? Alkiviadis has a true chance of ruling one day. Well, he'll be the face, but I'll be the one truly leading. The Aspasia to his Pericles. How can you treat someone like Alkiviadis that way? Oh, please. If anyone deserves it, it's Alkidiadis. Surely you've noticed. The obsession with sex, the lies, the drinking. So lying to him is what he deserves? Of course. And it's not like he'll get nothing in return. I mean, look at me. And what if I tell Alkidiadis all of this? Why would you? You've seen him. He's happy. And I'll make sure he stays that way. There's nothing wrong with me getting something in return. But it's your choice. Thanks for helping with the wedding.
Let me guess. Alkiviadis sent you. He did? How did you know? He has a skill for making others do things he doesn't want to. On top of that, he prefers if those people are attractive. He's so predictable. It's what made this whole thing so easy. I don't care what you're doing with Alkibiadis or why. He asked me to give this to you, so I am. If I can give you some advice, you do well to be like me. Find someone with greater means than yourself. Make them love you. Reap the rewards. I'm impressed. I didn't think Alkibiadis would ever be on the receiving end of something like this. He's used to being on the receiving end. Well, you definitely have something in common. I'll pretend that was a compliment. And what if I tell Alkibiadis all of this? Why would you? You've seen him, he's happy, and I'll make sure he stays that way. There's nothing wrong with me getting something in return, but it's your choice. Thanks for helping with the wedding. It's all done. Wonderful. So, what did you think about Iris? You found a good one. I can see what you like about her. I knew you would. Even though nothing could change my mind about her, it's always nice to get confirmation from others. I hope you two are happy. You seem perfect for one another. We'll be more than happy. Thank you for your help, Alexios. I hope this isn't the last time we meet. So what was all of this for? Everything you had me do couldn't have been for nothing. You burned my trust. Are you sure you want to know? So that package in Corinthia. I almost forgot about that. I needed to get rid of the Oberos to pay off a debt. Plus, I needed spies to infiltrate Vardas' command. And my plan worked. Thanks to you. All right. What about the politician? He was brilliant and opposed me. A fatal combination. So he needed replacing. And I had a much dumber man perfect for the job. Thank you for that, by the way. The woman with the olis was. We talked about this. It wasn't about the woman, but her husband. He governs the trade routes between Attica and Mecharis. Or, uh, I should say, I do now. What about your friend, the one pretending to be a man? That was out of the goodness of my heart. And gods curse anyone who doubts that. I've heard enough. Aren't you going to ask me about Iris? Let me guess. Rich house, respected family. With her wealth, you can rule all of Athens. Of course not. I marry for love. If those other things happen, well, I wouldn't complain. I never would have guessed. It's time everyone sees a more serious Alcabiades. The Alcabiades I've only shown glimpses of in the past. One day you'll see everything I was working toward. And you'll know you helped make it happen. Attica and lands far beyond will thank you, even if they don't know your name. I'm glad I could help. Oh, I'll make sure you don't forget me when you lead Athens. I'd never forget you. You're far too useful. It's all done. Wonderful. So, what did you think about Iris? You must see something in her that I don't. Well, that's true. Quite often, too. But still, I'm surprised to hear you say that. You can't marry her. She told me she's using you for her own gain. Is that so? It is. I knew she was special. To think I wasn't able to catch on. I can't wait to marry her. Uh. I'm glad you and I were able to work together, Alexios. So what was all of this for? Everything you had me do couldn't have been for nothing. You burned my trust. 
Are you sure you want to know? So that package in Corinthia. I almost forgot about that. I needed to get rid of the Oberos to pay off a debt. Plus, I needed spies to infiltrate Vardas' command. And my plan worked. Thanks to you. All right. What about the politician? He was brilliant and opposed me. A fatal combination. So, he needed replacing. And I had a much dumber man perfect for the job. Thank you for that, by the way. The woman with the olive was. We talked about this. It wasn't about the woman, but her husband. He governs the trade routes between Attica and Mecharis. Or, uh, I should say, I do now. What about your friend, the one pretending to be a man? That was out of the goodness of my heart. And gods curse anyone who doubts that. I've heard enough. Aren't you going to ask me about Iris? Let me guess. Rich house, respected family. With her wealth, you can rule all of Athens. Of course not. I marry for love. If those other things happen, well, I wouldn't complain. I never would have guessed. It's time everyone sees a more serious Alcabiades. The Alcabiades I've only shown glimpses of in the past. One day you'll see everything I was working toward. And you'll know you helped make it happen. Attica and lands far beyond will thank you, even if they don't know your name. I'm glad I could help. Oh, I'll make sure you don't forget me when you lead Athens. I'd never forget you. You're far too useful. <laughs>